Wait, wait, wait. I'm like, Mia, please just, just let her choose. You're a loser, Dad. I'd be stupid to stay with you. Okay, so we're obviously skipping the father-daughter dance, so... Are you sure you don't want to invite your dad? Jeff, I haven't talked to my dad since I was 16. I know. Yeah, he's not invited. What really happened between the two of you anyway? He lost his job when I was in high school and started drinking. <sighs> you, uh... Need some help with your homework? Dad, you're drunk. No, I'm not. Come on, let, let me see. I can help you. Oh! Uh, no, no. Jake! No, no. Get a hold of yourself. I've been working three jobs trying to keep us afloat. If you don't care about me, at least think about Eliza. What are you talking about? She's a smart girl. Look, she's doing fine. I just... I hate you. Okay, it's past your curfew. Have you been drinking? Why do you care? Eliza, don't you talk back to me, okay? I'm your father. Show me a little bit of respect. You know my dad. You're pathetic. Why should I listen to you? I started hanging out with the wrong crowd. I got into drugs. I realized I needed to turn my life around. I didn't want to let myself and my mom down. After all, we were all each other had. Sorry, that must be hard. But people can change. Do you think if you gave your dad a second chance, he would take it? Hi, Dr. Lee. So I'm getting married, and I really want my dad to be there, but I'm still having feelings of resentment towards him. That sounds difficult. What do you resent? I feel like my entire childhood was destroyed because of him. I had no one I could rely on, not even my mom. I mean, she was too busy trying to make ends meet and put food on the table. Right, I remember you telling me about that. It's a very hard situation that you had to overcome. It sounds like you might be thinking you need to forgive him in order to be there. I honestly don't know if I could ever forgive him. Forgiveness doesn't mean that you're excusing his behavior. It simply means that you're choosing to release these feelings of resentment. I do miss him sometimes. Do you think you need some form of closure? Hi, Dad. Uh, I know it's been a while, but... Who are you? What are you doing on my property? What are you talking about? It's me. Mary! Mary! There's a strange woman standing on my porch. Okay, okay. I'll take care of it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Eliza. I recognize you from the photos. Come on in. <laughs> Do 
Your father's been diagnosed with early onset Alzheimer's. He, he doesn't remember anything. Some days are better than others, but over the past few months, he's been getting progressively worse. <laughs> he loves you very much. And he used to talk about you all the time. He has a lot of regrets, you know. I'm sorry, I, I should have come. Eliza, wait. There's something you might want to see. He kept writing you, but he didn't know when you moved and where. He got his life back together and worked really hard. He was hoping to get his family back together. Hi, James. There's someone that would like to meet you. Hi, I'm Eliza. It's lovely outside. Would you like to go for a walk? Your parents are meant to be people who encourage and support you on the way to adulthood. But for some, that relationship is colored by unpleasant memories and feelings of resentment. Maybe your parents' attention was constantly split between you and their career, leading you to feel neglected. Maybe they didn't fully support your goals and tried to impose their own agenda on you. While the reasons for your anger or resentment may be justifiable, they can hold you back from personal growth and living a fulfilled life. The first step in resolving these feelings is acknowledging them and understanding that it's okay that you feel this way. While revisiting unpleasant memories can be hard, it's actually the first step towards feeling better. Ignoring a problem doesn't make it go away. In fact, it may be getting worse without you realizing it. Create a safe, comfortable space to examine how you feel. Talk with a therapist or a trusted friend to release feelings that you may have bottled up over an extended period of time. Once you've done this, the next step is to practice self-love in the form of patience. It takes time to move on from a painful situation. Forcing or rushing yourself to forgive adds unnecessary pressure and ultimately may even lead to you feeling worse. Sometimes emotions can cloud your judgment and all you need is time for the haze to clear. And finally, know that your parents' actions don't reflect your self-worth nor define who you are. With time and self-love, it is possible to resolve feelings of resentment. Just like physical injuries can leave scars, emotional wounds can as well. While scars are reminders of your past, the wound itself heals over time, and the pain won't always have to follow you into the future. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. If you want even more videos just like this one, make sure you subscribe and click on the boxes over here. I'm also excited to let you know that you can now get my book, Think Like a Monk, from thinklikeamonkbook.com. Check below in the description to make sure you order today.